How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. Now, Apple have just wrapped up their peak performance event. So this is the first event of the year and they've upgraded some of the new products and they've just announced a new silicon chip as well and some new products uh, to go with it. So let's take a deep dive and see what's actually been announced. Starting with the iPhone, we have a new iPhone SE powered by the A15 Bionic offering the same level of power that you have in the iPhone 13. It's IP67 water resistant, uh, retains that touch ID, which is great, and has a smart HDR4. It offers an improved battery life, and most importantly, you get 5G sub 6 gigahertz connectivity. It's a big seller for Apple, so this is going to be just that again for them, I assume. Next, we have the new iPad Air, which is now powered by Apple's M1 chip, which is really powerful, making the iPad Air a powerhouse for content creators on the go, and maybe just consumers, content consumers alike as well. It's running the latest iPad OS and now has 5G and a new 12 megapixel camera which supports center stage and is compatible with the latest Apple Pencil and Magic Keyboard. What really takes center stage though is the new M1 Ultra chip, so the M1 Ultra Silicon, which is super powerful. It carries on from the M1 series, so the last one we had was the N1 Max. So now we have this 800 gigabytes per seconds memory bandwidth in there. It supports 2.5 terabytes per seconds interprocessor bandwidth. You have 114 billion transistors, 32 core neural engine, 20 core CPUs, and 64 core GPU. It doesn't stop there though. It can also spec this up with up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory. And Apple says it's going to be powerful when it comes to its performance per watt. Some of the graphs that it showed show something promising in terms of power management. So we'll see how that works out. So we have a new Apple Silicon, which is really powerful and looks promising. But where can we actually use this next? The new Apple Mac Studio is small but powerful. And this can use the new M1 Ultra processor, which has all the ports such as four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back. You have two USB A's, full HDMI, and a pro audio port for your amps and pro headphone users out there. On the front, you also have more Thunderbolt 4 ports. You have the SCXE card slot, and Apple says it can support up to four high-end displays, as well as a 4K TV, powering it all at the same time, which is ridiculous. It has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5, and can be specced up to eight terabytes SSD with 7.4 gigabytes per second storage performance. This is going to be expensive for sure. To support the new Apple Mac Studio, you definitely want that new studio display as well with A13 Bionic chip inside. It's a 27 inch 5K retina display with one billion colors and has 600 nits of brightness with P3 wide color. You can also tilt it and adjust the height as well. It has a high fidelity six speaker surround it has a high fidelity six speaker sound system, including woofers. It has a new 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera on there as well with center stage support, spatial audio support. You have Dolby Atmos and up to three of them can be connected to your MacBook Pro. No doubt Apple is up to some amazing things here. They've upgraded the iPhone SE, the iPad Air. We've got new M1 Ultra uh, silicon chip as well. We've got the new Mac Studio and the Mac Studio display. I think out of everything they announced today, the Mac Studio and the Mac Studio display are very much something that I'd covet. I would really love to have them in my studio, but very pricey looking at around £4,000 for the M1 Ultra, you know, top spec Mac Studio. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know what you think though in the comments below. Is this something that you would get and who are these things for? Let me know which ones you are most excited for as well. In the meantime, if this is your first time around here, please do subscribe, smash the bell notification as well if you wanna see more videos like this. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.